Good evening. This is the Gallian Parks and Recreation Committee meeting tonight, um, January 11, 2023. And um, I will uh, call to order the meeting. Ms. Leeger? Here. Ms. Frank? Here. Paula? Here. And can I have um, a motion to approve the minutes of the uh, November meeting, please? I will make the motion. Okay. Ms. Leeger? I will second the motion. Ms. Frank, thank you. And could I have a motion to approve the agenda? I will make a motion to approve tonight's agenda. Okay, Ms. Leader and Ms. Frank. Are both of those motion carried? Pardon? Are both of those motion carried? Yes, motion carried, yes. Okay, let's start off with the cleaning. <coughs> <Can> I... <coughs> Nothing helps. Okay. How are we on the cleaning contract, Nikki? Well, I have the cleaning contract. It's been reviewed by the law director, and the union has decided they want to do the cleaning. I'm sorry, say that again. The union wants to do it in house. The union? So the service department wants to do it in house. And I can't contract out union work without their agreement. Well, that wasn't something we first thought of, but. Um, so, they, go ahead. Were they doing that prior, or have we always contracted? No, we've always, they've always done it. Um, okay, so we were, we were presenting something new yeah. because we need the help, the extra help, but they want to keep it. Um, are they looking at maybe, I mean, is there a way to like hire a part-time person or something or? It will have to be union okay. members. Um, I talked to them very specifically about expectations. We were talking about 23 weekends then we have to pay them a minimum three hour call out. But I said, you know, this is not just changing toilet paper and everything trash. This is cleaning. Mm -hmm. So cleaning toilets, sanitizing, all of that stuff. And they said they understood and they thought that was something they would only have to take a weekend every six or eight weeks or something like that. And they were going to have a rotating schedule. So they, they agreed to that. That was their proposal. <laughs> Did did you discuss with them that in the in the spring it, it needs just a full, total, really good cleaning in the spring because it's been closed up all winter? We can, I can and, certainly. And they agreed to that. I will have, I'll talk to them about the spring cleaning. We did, that's not something we specifically discussed, but I can so, certainly. We can kind of, yeah, go ahead. We'll, we'll have to wait and see how they carry it out at, at, at this point. Okay. I think the, the verb I use is insisted. They insisted to have that work. I, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, uh, the question then, once they came back, that was their feedback. Initially, it wasn't that, or we wouldn't have spent the time with Waycraft and had conversations here. Mm -hmm. um, but they want the work. It, it'll be almost, I can't imagine it not being all. Uh, overtime work, and so it'll be a it'll be a, a management issue. Um, we're not real happy about it. We, have, we have, under the Waycraft proposal, they're going to have a work coach, site supervisor. Mm -hmm. Well, the, I, I was very amenable to that. Yeah. I think that's a good thing for these, yeah. these people to get out and right. and show that they can do things. Well, that's a Disappointment, but so well, yeah. I guess I guess I would say that I don't know if we can, but I mean, would we be able to see um, like a schedule, and then is it going to turn into well, we didn't have enough people, so they didn't make it to the bathrooms this week? What was there? Yeah, we'll kind of see how yeah, it goes. I think the, then, as a for instance, uh, this isn't every weekend. I think that'll be coming. Um, a, a sort of a point of friction, but at Taylor Road, the anybody who can handle the the uh, loader out there, 
signs up for it. So we have people across the departments, not just people in the service department. <clears throat> I, what I would expect is in prime time of uh, vacation time, around the, the weekends when coincidentally we really need help, like pickle run or, mm -hmm. or, or whatever, that will have, that'll be a challenge getting those people to sign up. And those are weekends I specifically mentioned. So we're not going to have any trouble Memorial Day weekend, pickle run, we're going to have coverage. And I was assured that it wouldn't be a problem. I think it'll be a, I think we'll learn a lot this year. Mm -hmm. I think, so that's on the coverage issue. The cost issue, um, is we just really got this information back. It's going to be a lot more cost. It was going to be about $145 uh, per weekend, Nikki, for the Waycraft solution. $144.91 a day for okay. Waycraft. So $280 a weekend. They're about 300 bucks a week. It, it, it'll be a lot more than that. Well, I was just going to gonna say, that, yeah. uh, I can't imagine that somebody, like, they wouldn't want the extra help. <laughs> but also, <coughs> understanding the workforce, the, like you said, the overtime. Yeah, it's like, funny. It's, it's the it's, overtime. And it is. Because there's no other reason you wouldn't want to have some help to with you yeah. know so the, in, but, the front line okay. supervision you're probably listening to it or looking at it when it comes to that so the supervisor Sally supervisor he's he isn't going to sit at home every weekend waiting to get a hey you guys didn't do a very good job so let me talk a little bit about two other things Paul okay. man. one is some of the cleanup work um, is uh, at parks that are directly associated with uh, the uh, facilities we rent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so somebody messes up the depot bathroom or that, that isn't clean, somebody complains. That's due to a rental or whatever. East Park's another good example where a lot of the people who use the bathrooms, mm -hmm. uh, they're either the splash park or they're, they're um, you know, go there versus the bathroom in East Park. Plus, we have an extra bathroom with Kobe Park. Yeah, I mean, I don't think. Yeah, we'll see how that goes once it gets here. So the, so yeah, there is more cleaning to do. I guess what I'm what I was um, considering just at the very initial stage is whether or not uh, if we're going to have a greater direct cost. Because. But when it's bad, yeah, we'll get somebody out there. But for the most part, it will get it on Monday. Is the is the thinking on it, like the clean of the bathroom, the if some of the mess, and we know it is, is related to the rentals of the facilities. We may look at re recovering some of that cost through increasing those fees. Seems like it was. Does anybody remember? Do no. you remember, Nikki, five years ago, six years ago? 18. We, was it? Yeah, 2018 when we adjusted the, the fees on those buildings. It was uh, right after we opened the depot. Well, this may turn out to be yeah. beneficial to some of the guys in Lawrence. If they do a good job, maybe they'll ask them to clean the bathrooms at home. <laughs> so, do we keep the, the deposits that the people put down on these buildings if they don't? No, we don't leave. No, we don't do the deposit anymore. Oh, well, I would start doing that. Maybe. Well, there was so much. It cost so much to write a check. Yeah, it cost so much to write a check. <laughs> to get so you give me the extra twenty bucks. Okay, we take that, that money gets deposited, and when you come back and you yep, did a good job or anything's like, we have we cut you a check. So we were in the petty cash business of Is there a way to maybe do it over like a credit card machine where they can reimburse yeah. a fee if you make the deposit by credit card? That. I haven't thought about it. We, we're, but we're out of the deposit business. And the problem is, Carrie, no one's going out, say, Saturday night and checking the depot to make sure they didn't trash it. So we have someone call and complain. I 
I had no way of knowing if it was the person who rented it on Sunday or the person who rented it on Saturday because we don't have anyone confirming that it's in good condition. So that was that was a problem. We just automatically sent people's deposits back. So it wasn't really a, a good way of making people behave. <laughs> and, and we did I would say it. Nikki, I would I would I think we'd agree a couple three times a summer to get some someone who doesn't you know, respect the property. It's a it it's a, one of the fun parts of the job, that rental thing. I hate to give it up because you you get to talk to people. They're almost always planning something fun, you know, birthday party or whatever, and they're all there because there's no way I'm gonna get this darn house clean before ever all the all of your relatives show up. So they're 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 using that as as you know, sort of a, and a you birthday and I, party location, so they're they're happy about coming in. And, and you and I have this <coughs> of putting a key to the <coughs> the dumpster, yep. and that's that's what we're planning on doing this year for that. Yeah, that's been done. So you get that. That's a good thing that they can have a place to throw their trash. And we've been handing people a. Kind of a do's and don'ts list. Oh, okay, good. Do clean up after yourself. Yeah, it has to be said. Really, pe pe people really do if they're if they're raised right. They do. Yeah, most people do. But then you, like you said, you have two or three during the summer. That's kind of to be expected. So that's where the deposit came. We said we can do this seventy-five times. Just make it, yeah. and two or three times somebody is, you know, is does, isn't respectful. All the, the, uh, oh, this just sounds like a whiny. I was told I'm a whiner. Um, the, somebody wants their, what was it, 25 bucks? I want my 25 bucks. We hadn't written the check. You go across the hallway to the auditor's office. Hey, could you do a special run? What? So this person who was <laughs> complaining about their 25 bucks, it just, it, you know, it just was. <coughs> It was just a pain in the neck, so I think we raised the, the fee a little bit. That was the trade-off. And that was kind of how we did it. But anyway, on the one subject we may want to look at, we might want to pawn that off on the Laws and Ordinances Committee, looking at the fees for these park facilities, because they are, uh, if you did a market study, you would find that other communities are charge a lot more than that. So. Um, Couple, one more thing about this. It may have, we haven't put a pencil to it, but one of the things we'll do as we try to cost up how much overtime expense there is. Because okay. <clears throat> that, of course, drives the, the uh, retirement and it drives it at a per dollar rate. So you're, if you're paying time and a half, you're, you're mm -hmm. over, excuse me, you're, uh, Employer contribution to the retirement is a time and a half. So anyway, um, no. and it, it and what I don't I don't mean this is a threat. We'll look at the numbers, but it will slow down the hiring, getting back up to staff, because it it will be oh flagging over here forty five dollars, say for three or four hours. Hundred times, so do that on a thing. In your mind, it's not. It'll be a. It'll be a considerable amount to do it this way. So it it uh, the budget was built to replace one of the two workers in the service department in the spring. There was no sense in hiring one this winter because they most likely won't have a CDL. So we'll have to take a look at whether this extra o overtime all summer turns out to, to be a point where it would crowd out um, bringing on that, that employee. So. Well, that's disappointing because um, I really wanted the other figure to have the job. Yeah, I think it's a really cool idea, that, but right. I don't... You well, know, I, the service department, they've assured me that they're going to be able to handle it and everything's going to look great. And I trust that they'll follow through on their word, and if they don't, we'll have to readdress it. 
Okay, well, um, any other... But the point would be, before we leave together, the point would be, we're going to cover Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. It's just going to be, a, yeah. it's just going to be a different way. Yeah. The, but, and we're not going to run a couple people Sunday through Thursday and Tuesday through Saturday. We we work real hard. That's why we're bummed out as well as you all. But at having good labor relations, and there's this is there are two situations. We won't get into the other one, but we want to use part time uh, workers uh, on the weekends. Full time guy on the weekend who's a lone <coughs> employee, uh, and and had a, and we had an agreement that they would uh, actually pay union dues. This guy was. And, and they they weren't real understanding about that. So that we these are two situations kind of one after another where um one of the few times we have a difference of opinion, so I don't want to make I'm in the process of making more out of it than I should, so I'll just stop now. We'll see. Okay, the next item uh, on the agenda is the um an ordinance for the picnic tables at South Park. And um, the grant funding assistance is not to exceed $11,018, correct? That's an odd figure. Yeah, so it's a low figure. That, that program, Nature Works, <clears throat> just over the last handful of years has gone down in its annual allocation. And it comes from the same, if you will, pool of funds that the state capital bill comes from. So as community projects that used to be funded in the Nature Works area have gone with special, if you will, earmarks in the capital bill, then there's less in the pool for these kinds of Generally distributed park funds. So it's kind of worth noting. But we, but in past years we've got nearly fifty thousand dollars. So this eleven thousand. That's why it's worth mentioning. It's a lot less. And I. But I every, think, every uh, little bit helps. Yeah, and I, I think you can attribute it to <coughs> kinds of medium-sized capital bill projects. Um, so, does this have to be used by a certain date? Uh, it's in there, sure. And work it in. Yeah, I'm trying to get 25%. Yeah. So. So we'll end up with, like when you said South Park, three. South Park or else, you know, maybe else, but they're about 1200 bucks, 1200 bucks. And if you put in your mind's eye the, the kinds of wire ones with the plastic on them. Well, we're we're going to use those. Yeah, right, right here. Right there. Okay. Um, so. Oh, yeah. They're nice, they're durable, they're... Is it like the one that's at high C, that wood one? And there's also two ADA picnic tables I noticed also. Yep, if there is, then thanks, Matt. Good, good idea. So it's pretty, you know, it's pretty simple, straightforward. I think we're applying for or agreeing to accept. I think we're agreeing to accept that. Yeah, yes. that's what we need. And we have to take it before council. Yes. So <coughs> this ordinance is already there. Yeah. Now. Um, can I have a motion to take this to council, please? I will make a motion to send this to council. Okay, Ms. Seeger makes the motion. I will second the motion. Ms. Frank seconds. Motion carried. Uh, all in favor. Oh, aye. Yeah. We don't get a word in the lot. Aye. Aye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking for. <laughs> I was actually. Yeah. Okay, motion carried and goes to cancel at the next, the next meeting. Okay, last point on the agenda is discussion of any repairs. <coughs> Have we gotten a door on the ladies' room at East Park Cabin? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's the in the bathroom. There's yeah, no door. There, there, there's, no, there's no door on them, and there is no door that they have it. No. No, not that I know of. Okay. I would say the the uh, 
we've had a discussion about ADA compliance. Mm -hmm. And so the, what I can respond to is not whether there's a door on it. I can say there's a door on the South Park uh, uh, equipment room. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was which, wasn't, which wasn't ours. <laughs> the door isn't ours and the building isn't ours, but I think there's some discussion about demoing that and putting up a small Double up to the, to the, the baseball association, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you but, anyways, that, no, go ahead, please. Have you had a chance to talk to any of those people just about? A, just a week or two ago. Okay. Yeah. Are they, are, are they more interested in doing their part more than? Yeah, they're. Yeah. Yes, they're going to get it done. Okay. They're going to get it done. Right. And, we, and we had a good discussion and um, agreement on on who's going to do what and. You know, hopefully a plan. These are these are uh, volunteer dads, kind of. So I don't want to demean them, but they're they play a lot of baseball, and <laughs> as soon as the weather breaks, they're going to be thinking about that versus finishing the field. So that's really what the meeting was, y'all. Is that we, you know, we let's identify what needs to be done. You do this, we'll do that. So I think there's a plan to get that up and running. Uh, by this year. Also, um, I'd like to talk about the, um, the speed bump and the, we talked about a speed bump out of Icy Park. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think I, we really need to get this get this going by spring when, when of course it's spring right now with the rain outside, you know. And the crosswalk. And the crosswalk. The crosswalk and the speed bump. Um, I think, I think it's very important because of, of the, the, especially where the two playgrounds are. I think we all do. Yeah, I think we, we actually, all do. There's no disagreement yeah. on that. The, uh, it, it will happen after the asphalt plant's over. Right. That's one of the That's sometime in April, isn't it? It's well, weather dependent, weather. But, but yeah, we need to get something. Yes. No question about yes. It. That was on the list when we did paving in the fall and right. Do it. Okay. So this with the speed bumps, are they the, um, like removable? Because I know if you plow, you don't tear it. Yeah, they'll just lift it. I mean, they don't. Okay. They'll, they'll know when to lift the blade. I know we at uh, uh, our building, um, we we have to remove them because. The way they have to plow, no, yeah. they and so well, really, don't, don't they have sensors inside the truck that tell them that there's oh no, 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 no it's I pretty. I think they have to just kind of know, but I it was, yeah. it was you could, of, you can oh, get you could, yeah, you could hazard a hazard, but we don't, okay, but yeah, they make removable ones and then. Um, they put them back after, but I, I'm just curious, yeah, well, these are going to be the big humps, the non. There'll be mo the motorcycle oh, okay. more okay. friendly. I'm not going to get okay. yelled at by motor. What do you mean friendly? None of those are. But they won't be the grooved out ones that rat a tat tat. Uh, real hard. More on. gradual kind of. I mean, it's just one big. How how do you get like a one of those pedestrian mm -hmm. blinking signs for the crosswalks? We buy it, put it up there, and push a button. Because so I think get, no 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 not that kind. I mean. You know, out in the country where the red uh, stop signs blink, so you yeah. can see them, yeah, or something yeah. like that. Like the one over at, um, there's the one right here at St. Joe's. They got one you push yeah. button. Yeah. That's uh, solar, that's solar through, power. When they're going through high sea, mm -hmm. I'm not sure the speed bump alone is going to be, like, I think there's something flashing so they know. Well, we, we talked about the flashing. And that's flashing, hopefully, you know, thing. I don't, I don't know what, so I hadn't thought about it since, maybe since we talked about it last. We are going to put speed bumps in. The, and and, and some, some sort of signage. Right, but I would say, without getting time too much up in that, is that the, on Heisey Park Lane, I, I would suspect it's, 80, uh, it's it, between 80 and 90% local traffic. Mm -hmm. And so everybody knows. And signage, striping or signing, has very little impact on the, on the rude driver. 
this I, I'm not a big fan of making it work. Stop signs that flash, that's a, that's very helpful. Marsha. But I think people who drive in Icy Park that are the problem, if you will, they they know they shouldn't be doing that. And it's just a physical barrier that doesn't that causes their car to and it's okay. It's the, it's the best thing. And it's the only cut through from the north part yeah. of the town to get to the school. So you have a lot of parents going through there that are going more than 20 miles an hour yeah. because well, they're late to pick up their kids or whatever. Great. Right. Yeah. But the maybe a flashing a flashing signal that you know or but and then also we talked about the other part down going south where the where the the uh, little league park is. We yeah. need, we need a speed bump down. Coming there. in there. We had we that wasn't what we were contracting for, but but what we're committed to and we'll get done as soon as the weather uh, the asphalt plants over the weather breaks is one on the entrance to the park, the west side, and then the crosswalks through there. I it, we're not talking about a lot of money, but I would no. I don't the uh, I, I want to maintain uh, some sort of vehicle friendliness as well as pedestrian friendliness. Well, can we can we can we paint the crosswalk? I think we're planning on doing that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're in agreement I, on that. One of the things that I just noticed that's concerning is yeah. the more businesses that are going up. Uh -huh. um, I mean, there's a huge. Uh, uh, industrial or uh, manufacturing building. Yeah, spec the building, more yeah. businesses that are going up, the more traffic's going to go through high seat. Well, I think that gets at um, the reason Paul, uh, what she pointed out is really true. And um, I can remember two semi serious efforts at that. One when I was a youngster, I was once upon a time, um, and there was a, a garden patch through there. And there was some talk about extending Summit Street. Okay. And then back in the in Galleon's uh, heyday of spending money, there was some engineering done to build a connection from 598 out there. I'm not quite sure, but across the Fairview, uh, or excuse me, a market. Mm -hmm. it, it proved to be too. Uh, I think a decision was made, I don't want to get into it too, but that it just wasn't cost effective. You could build it, you could stabilize that. There's ways you could build a roadway between it, but it was it was pretty cost prohibitive. So we've been stuck with Brant Road and Yeah, there's um, nothing, there's nothing. Right, 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 right. I know. Didn't they at one time look at where where the old um, Buckeye Arms apartments were on that? Yeah. That tree line down. They talked about that at one time too, didn't they? Yep, it's real wet and yeah. it's, it's it's the. I think it's a good project. I think what you're saying is is true. That um, I never thought we'd get into this tonight. But Brant Road, East Brant Road, is a, is what I call it. It's just not adequate. Everyone knows that. Mm -hmm. That's the one that is going to have pressure. It's the only. It's the only one that's really not getting improved in the in the project. Mm -hmm. But um, it also floods on the east side. Oh yeah, and it's it's yeah. the whole thing needs reengineered. And mm -hmm. um, I see that. Yeah. But it's a jurisdictional issue. It's Pope Pope Township. Isn't it? I think Jefferson is in charge. I don't know. Well, it's either Jefferson or Pope, and the county engineer kind of effectively responsible for it. But uh, the completing of 598 will will push uh, some people to, to look at some more improvements. Anyways, sorry about that. That's very little to do with parks except back to the speed bump on the west end of Pisces Park Lane. Yeah, get ready. Uh, you know, it didn't get done, and we're disappointed about that. It's the top of the list. So, um, Anything else on the 
the, I mean, the, the other projects in the list, there'll be a, a list. I, I keep making the connection. I'll, I don't I won't beat on it too hard, but the, in order to be able to, these the folks that we're talking about running shorter staff, uh, do, do sewer, water maintenance, parks, uh, streets, and they bill their time to the various uh, departments. The, we have two openings there. Um, what we were hoping to do is to use contract money to get this enhanced parks. We're not going to be able to do that. Um, our ability to do the list of things that need done is going to be limited. If we go, if we're down two off of kind of the, what we've been running at for the last five, seven years, if we don't fill two slots, it's going to um, stretch our ability to get some of these general maintenance things done. So prioritizing it. I'm just sitting here thinking the same thing because I thought if you've got these guys working weekends and they want to do it, that's not going to leave a lot of time for them to be doing the things in the park that really need to be done also. But we aren't going to be able to get two, two extra sets of hands. I don't know what to tell you sitting here in January, but the we had real uneven uh, uh, summer help last summer. We've over the years we've had some really really good people, good kids. You can like man, they, if we could hire them, we would. But they're going to go work for Columbia Gas or some other you know company making a lot more money. Good good people. We it's kind of different year to year, so we will probably hire fewer of those people to, to be able to you know, cover some of the We also have to using the high school students. Uh, uh, yep. Something Go to ahead. think about. Uh, I thought, I, the, the, and I'm not being a wise Alec. I would, I, I'd like to bring in, can't bring in uh, Kara, but Kara or one of her associates to really talk about that with the group and just talk to her, I'm not being wise out of it, about uh, young people today and the kinds of jobs that they want. When we were talking about that a year ago, she said, hey, I, nobody wants to work for you. They did, I man. Yeah, seriously, right? We didn't get so, any zero from the usual. Um, we told the whole room like, full of these kids. Nobody zero. wants to work for you. You like anybody or some some you? Which you don't want to do physical labor. Oh, so in terms of the whole. So right. I will go refold clothes at Old Navy, or I'll go right. work in the it's in, a, in the restaurant right. business or the hotel business, and I really don't want to pick up somebody else's dog poop in uptown Gavin. And that was, you know, that. The word gets out, you know. <laughs> this is, don't take that job. They make you work. But anyway, we bought them t-shirts. And we had a bunch of kids the first and second years that did an excellent job each year. Sort of. Yeah, I had one chief off and she off. helped pick up dead animals off the street. And yeah. Yeah. Um, she's the only one who came that. one at the park. Yeah, and she was the only one. she came here and helped do filing. And she was yeah. like, I loved it up there. <laughs> Yeah, she was the only one that would go out on that animal patrol. <laughs> we had uh, the, the other one to talk about other positive. There was a crew of three women. This was this will be three years ago, I think, this year. And um, we used them to police what is now the the uh, bike path. And you'll remember there are all kinds of auto parts, a lot of glass mm -hmm. and stuff. And they went out there really self directed. Uh, the problem was there were three of them and they came here one or two days a week and then went to Cyrus a couple of days a week. So without the, the kids who want a job that they get paid to do, okay, that group finds these other uh, groups. What is it? Abilities? Is that what that? Oh, the, the, uh, the, the Kara and Mandy work for? Oh, yes. Uh, abilities and action. Abilities and action. Abilities and action. Yeah. There's, there's a few of those firms that do that, 
and much as the employment agencies have gobbled up the, the general labor market and the adult workforce, they have, they're the ones placing all the kids. Kind of makes sense. Do you guys so work with you people? Not? I'm oh, sorry. No, not, we didn't this past year, although we tried. And what about Crawford Works? Never. I they, they the not I don't mean it sound that I don't mean that in never I've I've known her since almost day one since she was not elementary school I've worked with Heather I'm not sure it makes sense I don't I'm not sure that the people that they're working with want to come here and do that it's so it's, it's not very not everybody wants to do it uh, cleaning up of restaurants so when we were growing up. Yeah. What we did would probably consider child abuse today in some instances. Well, you know, nobody would come, man. They'd rather, they just wouldn't. They're not going to put down uh, the young kids. There are a lot of youth working, but they're working at places other than here. That's what we, that was the kind of the, oh crap. I don't think it's anything we've done. I think it's a changing workforce. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. So, anyway. Um, we will, we'll, we'll, uh, I think what would help, maybe even as early as next month, is if you look at that list, we'll kind of prioritize the stuff that we think is most important. Mm -hmm. If you go back and look at that, okay, so okay. there's a, 25 things here. Mm -hmm. These five, let's put them at the top of the list, and then you can plug them into the work plan as weather either does or doesn't permit stuff from getting done. Okay. Um, well, um, I'll be checking the parks a lot, I guess. So. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's very disappointing. I'm really, I'm really disappointed because these guys make a lot of money per, per hour and they want to clean a bathroom. I mean, we'll just see how, I mean, honestly, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I don't, uh, we got the message though. The expectation is that they need to be cleaner than they've been the last few years. Um, yeah. It's going to cost. It's going to cost more. So yeah. One. Duh. Of course, it's going to cost more. Um, okay. Still in the. Um, I would encourage people if I might. Well, I like, go down to the why. Mm -hmm. um, I bumped into it because of youth <laughs> basketball, and so I get. Uh, Unless you're by it when there's a swim meet or one of the nights when they've got a lot of youth activity, the the need for the parking lot. It's like, yeah, they do without that. I can drive by it. I can ignore that. But when you're there, when there are mm -hmm. uh, three bat youth basketball mm -hmm. games going on, yeah. all the whole extended family. I'm there a lot though, and like. When you first pull in, yeah, the little parking lot that you you know here is full and the whole front is full. But if they go to that back parking lot, it's not full. People just don't want to walk. <laughs> so I'm there almost every day because my one of my kids has practice every single day of the week for swim yeah. and then swim meets, and I am there almost every single day. And that back parking lot is never full. Well, if, if, if the estimate we had is close to a quarter of a million. So if you if you want that to harden your heart or to uh, I just you know, think people strengthen need, like, your argument, it's, it, 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 walk. <laughs> it is an extensive expensive project uh, to rile up um, the neighborhood. Doesn't need much riling up. I don't. There are only two or three houses that would be directly affected, and there would. In my estimate, there there are dozens of families, one time or another, that would benefit from it. So you're a swim mom, so that aren't when they have meets, it's madhouse there. I mean, inside, yeah, but outside's not too bad though. Like okay. I don't mind okay. pulling into that back parking lot. Okay, that's where I park. That's where I walk. It that's closer walk. to the softball field. It actually is great for softball. All right. Well, anyways. That's a, a project. I mean, there's that, a lot of more potholes back there. That's probably why no one likes it, but I mean. I would say finish the pickleball and the daycare center, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. I actually, the YMCA faction or group or, or, or members, 
probably will I doubt if we get that parking lot in 23, it's probably 24 before we get to it. I honestly think it's just a whole lot of people just don't want to walk from that back parking lot. They want to be right there in front of the wagon. They'll go in and spend 45 minutes on a treadmill. Yeah. You know? okay. Question. Okay, well I would say the don't chain yourself to the trees up there. There, I don't think that will get you too much. There's about four trees. Anyways. Anyways. But when they put that parking lot in, will the city lose that restroom there? That no, 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 no. That's going to be a Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's our original cheesy, cheap looking uh, bathroom. So I would put a plaque on that. I paced out walking in my apartment. If yeah. I go from my hallway and go all the way down to the end of the hallway before it turns to the right, yeah. I do that 15 times at the mile. Well, that's good. So Your neighbors are wondering, oh my God, no, there's Paula again home. walking back and forth. <laughs> God damn it, there's know. nobody home during the day and there's nobody around me. Yeah. So. Oh. But it's um, it's better it, than walking outside when it's so cold or wet. <laughs> the uh, among the other things, this has to do with parts okay. okay. that I said in my ten minutes and twenty five seconds on WQEL the other day, beyond the utility rates. I said I'm I'm not I'm kind of come back this year and try to get. People, not on the record in a negative way, but <coughs> if you're a walker, when when the free center was being envisioned and, and uh, uh, what's a program, so you know the certain areas, it, it was a big mistake not to include uh, more prominently a walking track. And so I think as people who want who believe that there's a need for that parking or not. But there's a need for that kind of facility, so that so that uh, kids of all ages have a, you know enough uh, time to recreate. We've got to get the walkers rallied with walkers because there are all kinds of folks down there uh, on the bike path. And you know, I don't call it the bike path; I call yeah. it the walking. Do you? Because right. <laughs> I've never seen a bicycle on there. I see people walking their yeah. dog. Pretty cool. Pretty, and, and yeah, that's what. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a friend of mine that speeds walk it, speeds right. walk, walks it, and um, but I, I like the walking trail. I think it's it's a good thing, but not in the winter time because the yeah. cold affects your knees and stuff. But but I, like I said before, I was surprised that why they didn't put in a walking inside walking track when they did their. I don't know the answer to that. Terry can tell you. I imagine it was a programming yeah, turns probably. into dollars thing, but a a probably because they have treadmills. I right. figure just walk on it. You might be right. Walk less <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's kind of the same. But there's a that, so anyways, we'll be talking about um, uh, through economic development mm -hmm. or in the general discussion about freeze funds. Um, there's a, there is, yeah, let's go home. There were capital dollars expended, a couple, 300,000, in the design of the free center in that process. Um, we'll have to get all of the information out and look at what our obligation is, uh, either to build it or, or not. And then there's residual money. Money, I can't. I'm going to guesstimate, but a little over a hundred thousand is from that capital bill allocation that hasn't been spent. That's went to the partnership, was transferred to the port authority, and that's where you find it's in the port's books. Uh, unused capital fund. You know, a good place to put a walking track would be out at. Um, um, She's lost my train of thought. Out there um, in the industrial area, that park out there. Pico. Pico. Hmm? Yeah. Pico. Because that's big enough that you could put a walking. Yeah, I want to, yes. I think getting out there and connecting the north side of the school property and getting to Pico is a, you know, it's kind of a goal. We, 
We walk a lot at Kobe. <laughs> I know Kobe. Park. Kobe. Park. You see the middle yeah, of Kobe. Park. Well, and and my stepdaughter Heather takes the dogs there all the time by herself, and goes all the way around. I mean, they. I, it's really really nice. Yeah. It's just. I don't know if I would go go by myself. I mean, she, you know, but. It is. It's, it's just on the west side. It's really nice. It has. You can walk all the way around, and it's like on the west side by the ponds. Mm -hmm. That's private property. That's been kind of a oh crap news. But I go on the auditor's site and see that there's a couple real odd lots. Not the one, the, the one store, but the hill that we went up, and we were like. Oh my gosh, this would be great in the in the winter. So you go and across the dam. That's private you, property. So you're by that little park here. You go across the, the little dam there, mm -hmm. and then walk towards uh, Caleb's or that way. Walk right. walk west on that north side there. That is. I, and I think there's a sign that says private property. But the, the, the path it, all the way around is all Kobe. Oh, Park. it's not. No. Yeah. No. I mean, no, it's not. That that path that you walked on was private property. I don't understand exactly why the donation didn't include that or why they didn't buy that when they turned that in, but it is a natural loop walk there. Hmm. Shirley, I don't know, is any I haven't talked to Shirley in, in, in a while. Uh, she had quite a passion for that. She'd looked at what to do with Kobe Park and how to uh, expand it, but that is one of the things that we uncovered, if you will, in the way is that that north side, that walking trail, that is part of that's a private property. Well, that part's not labeled though. I've seen private oh, yeah? property if you get a little bit like, but I've never seen yeah. you, know, you when walking all the way, and I've never seen a sign that says. Well, the auditor made an improvement. I don't know, a handful of years ago, to that website. It makes it a lot more user friendly. You have you used to have to sort of sit on it to enlarge gap. Oh, okay. Little, but you can go right to it and, and enlarge it. You can see that sometime when you're real bored on a Saturday morning. Look at property. The property. All right. I know there is another on on the bike path. There you will run into. Who's on planning and zoning? Committee. Anybody? Mike's committee. There's a, a development project mm -hmm. that involves uh, uh, a rental complex mm -hmm. just adjacent to that. And um, so if, if you hear about that, it's going to go to planning this month and then we'll probably end up in Mike's committee in some discussion. What will require is a change to multifamily zoning. Is that the new part? That's right the now, the no, no, the not where we might want it. No, it's, <laughs> it's there at the north end. It's the ground. The city owns mm -hmm. six acres, six or seven acres that uh, we uh, recovered from the finance director. That's where he had property built out of it. So, you're getting out of your car and you're going to walk to the sewer plant and back. Okay, that just to the right mm -hmm. between there and Avida, that area. That's there's not... a proposal to put I don't know close to close to fifty apartments. Is that the one where the guy came and talked to us at no. the council meeting? Well, no. I guess my question: What's wrong with what's what's wrong with that? I mean, wouldn't that be good to have some apartments around that area and then maybe the it would. I think it's a use that it's close call. I think it's complicated and I don't have I've got some issues with my own objectivity. I mean I I mean, I've been up front with this guy. I'm gonna bring the project forward. I'm not, but uh, I mean if we're talking about a people who go housing here. and yeah, but I think the development people, yeah. and you know, I kind of like, well, isn't that a good thing? It is a good thing. I don't know what's it's, wrong with, I don't know what's wrong with the... Uh, how many stories? Well, that's, we started out with two stories. 
I don't, I'm not crazy about it. From sort of a townhouse look, now we're in a more of a patio home. Right? I um, like townhouse looks. Huh? I like townhouse looks. Well, I, okay, we'll put one on the top of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> like Petrella, I when it sells them. I like them better than I do apartments. Okay, well, anyways, <laughs> so that you'll, you'll have that come down. The issue as it relates to parks is that's one of our, a bunch of people. Makes you feel good when you hear it, and I'm sure you mm -hmm. that that is one of the night one of the really good things that we've done, either with freeze funds or that we've done the last few years, and it it would absolutely transform that area. So now here this, there's there's going to be 48 apartments. Mm -hmm. um, they will be the only control you'll have is the rent. Where's the entrance? Well, I haven't opened, I've got it. just got, I think it's going to share, propose to share the existing undedicated roadway right there. But okay, I think, so the I'm reason I brought it up, I traffic, think that there's, um, you know, huh? looking It'll, at the traffic, is that right before Mill Creek? No, it's right, it, it would come out. Signature? No, nah, no, 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 it's right. Uh, it's just a little offset from Kobe Drive. Okay. I would, uh, I'm sorry, Paul. Let me just finish by saying, no. I, if I wanted to get those damn apartments done uh, up by Discount Drug Mart. And so I would yes. rather see that retooled, get them over there, than uh, to upset, because I know we need new housing. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you have dozens, I don't know what the number is, maybe we'll have a little button to push or pay some college kid to count people on that bike path. But dozens and dozens of people use that. Okay. I think they would have a WTF kind of moment or WTH moment. Like, what the heck is going on here? Whose idea was this to put 50 apartments of non-Gallian people there? Because you won't have well, you're not the the walk. The walking is is kind of hazardous on on 19 there. I mean, oh, that's a different issue. I mean, the sidewalk there, the 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 contractors are real busy, and I I think we're lucky to have a con a concrete contractor like Stamper, but they didn't want to go. They didn't. Want, they couldn't get to that project this year. That's a early 23 project. That sidewalk is. Um, it isn't safe. It wasn't safe when the children's home kids walked up there, but that's a whole other ancient history. I, I worry about the traffic, mm -hmm. and I worry about um, it's a peaceful location. It's a peaceful location. And I would rather see that uh, maintained and develop this green space mm -hmm. than to be um, a residential subdivision. But isn't there like the it's not very water, far. A river in between? No, nah, this is between. So the bike path is right by the creek. Mm -hmm. This is 50 yards to the to west. the west. Okay. Like so, across from Pizza Hut and. Yeah. Uh, I think it will be right behind the so mini storage. Okay. Right behind the mini. Yeah, Carrie. Right behind the mini. So we'll see how that goes. They did send a revised site plan. Mm -hmm. uh, they're serious about it. I don't want to. Pour cold water on it, but I'm not sure that you put a rental housing development. I would feel much different snob that I am, I guess, if it were a being developed for single family sort of ranch homes like Brookside or Willowcrest or Beardsley or help me. Or senior. Yeah, or senior. There, the, um, senior. That senior project is. Um, they're still interested. Uh, that's supposed to be in front of the bowling. Yeah, across mm -hmm. from the bowling alley, kind of in front of the oh, rehab yeah. center. Right. And, and we're going to build an assisted living. Yeah. And then yeah, no, no, no that's just that's going to be. Um, um, but they're still looking at that for an assisted living. No, yeah, assisted. it comes up in and in the assisted. That's been crapped out, and yeah. this would be more senior rental housing. But um, anyway, so that has to do with, well, that kind of project 
for the Parks Committee enhance or detract from the general use that people would have in the in that in the park using that uh, um, bike path or walking path or whatever. So anyways, I've said a minute. My Uber drive, my Uber ride comes at eight o'clock, so I'm gonna you all stay here for five minutes. Anyway, it's just something to think about. It's gonna come up over the horizon and it just came to mind. And uh, uh, we need all types of housing, but I'm not sure if we wanna lead the way with, with rental housing. Sorry about the distraction. But I'd rather see guilts finish what they started <clears throat> or get some other property over there. So, some, some other developer on that property over there. Do we have uh, any other? Uh, I'm sorry. Thanks I for just listening. want to say that um, I would like to thank the mayor for um, allowing the fountain, <laughs> the drinking fountain, <laughs> uh, that the Galleon Historical. Oh, I did. The, the rich declared victory in yes, the city. Yes. Okay. And they're going to be um, apparently it's a, it's a some sort of an old drinking fountain that had to do with with uh, the with women the, Christian well, Temperance yeah. Union. Okay, and they're very excited about it, and along those same lines, which is great because it was it's an old it's an old yeah. structure. They're going to renovate it, and along those same lines, maybe this is you know, the start of some other things that we talked about, like that grader out at Pico too. Yeah, that could be fixed. That, you know, and maybe some other pieces that are around, and I think that'd be great, you know. If Where they is it going in at? Pardon me? Where is it going to go in at? They actually talked about around the square, maybe. That's right. And then putting a plaque of what, they're, you know, the information about it, or, you know, but... I mean, and who knows? You probably know more. Well, that was a young story. Where historical stuff is. No, when we were teenagers <laughs> and stuff, uh, there, that was the drinking fountain, mm -hmm. where we have not been real successful with the with the uh, ice skating rink. That area was the tennis courts, swimming pool where it was at. There was a concession stand, and then that drinking fountain. It had been moved, from what I understand, from up at the square, and that was. So, you know, somebody that maybe will find the deep box someday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't know that was missing, huh? Yeah, I'll be missing for a while. Oh. But anyways, the, the, if I, I, I'm in agreement. I just, we just need to know how to give away that property. That's still in family. So, all right, whatever. I have a motion for adjournment for you. Oh, I would like to make a motion to adjourn um, the meeting. Motion carried. Meeting adjourned. Oh, next meeting will be February the 8th at 7 p.m. here. That's where I would like if you.